Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. In this video, you guys are going to see how I try to get my life back on track after missing a day of work on Friday and being sick over the weekend. Girl, it's Monday morning, okay? They got me up in the office with the bonnet. This is serious. I'm just joking. Um, since I missed last week, I felt like I just really wanted to squeeze every drop of productivity out of the day. Um, I have a meeting here in 26 minutes, and I cannot be at the meeting looking like this. So since I haven't taken any breaks so far, I'm gonna go take one. I'm gonna go uh, take a shower and put on a little bit of, you know, eyebrows, a little bit of makeup or something, and then um, come and do this meeting. So I have seven minutes until my next meeting. Mm. So not a lot of makeup is going to get be put on, but you know, that will not stop me from trying. I'm gonna use, girl, I'm gonna use my six minutes, okay? But I have to pick the most important things. Let's start with the under eye circles so that everybody at my job will not know how sleep deprived I am. Even though last night, actually, I wanted to wake up early. I actually ended up not waking up early. I had to make some choices. I wanted to wake up early to start getting a head start on things at work. So I had to make some choices. Do I wake up early and be like tired today? Or do I sleep in? And maybe I can even get today more energy and power because I, you know, I'm feeling rested. So that's the choice I made, the rested choice. And I think it was a good one because although I am tired. I feel like my normal tired. Like, you know, like I feel like mom tired and <laughs> not sick tired. How many minutes I got left? All right, girls. All right. I got four minutes left. I don't have time to do anything else. Where's my glasses? Gotta go. Okay, it is 11.03, so in Eastern Standard Time, it's lunch already. I literally don't know how the day goes by this fast. I feel like I've started working on things and they have just taken way longer than they should have taken. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced like that, like all this stuff goes wrong, things are not working, things are not where they should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lunch break. Um, I have some things around the home that I would like to get taken care of. I'm going to balance my time between eating lunch and getting some of this household stuff taken care of. And then hopefully by the time I come back, things are working properly. You guys, <clears throat> so about half of my lunch break is over and I want to spend some time working on my zone cleaning and weekly home blessing. So for my zone cleaning today, I'm gonna to work in my office just for 15 minutes, try to make it as lovely as I can. Um, you guys do know that the reason I do this system is because I'm not naturally tidy, right? Okay, um, I feel like I really try, especially in the public areas where my family is, that's where I put the most effort. But my office, you know, it's just me. I can, I can live with my messiness, um, but it's really bad in there, so I'm about to show you. This is after one month of not, you know, since the last time I was in this zone for zone cleaning, but just to give you a heads up, you see those coffee cups? Every single one of them came out of my office. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine, cup, nine cups that I've been bringing downstairs little by little in anticipation of zone cleaning. So I didn't have to just do it, spend my 15 minutes doing that. But I just, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. You guys wanna talk about lack of motivation. I do not feel motivated to deal with this at all. I don't wanna deal with this. But I'm just gonna go on my camera, on my phone, I'm gonna find a YouTube video. I just watch one, that was kinda cute. It's not gonna be too great because I am wrapping Christmas presents, so I don't wanna put everything away with, that's what they say, clutter creates more clutter, and it's so true. Like if you have something that looks like it's brewing clutter, it just gives yourself, your family, everybody permission to just keep adding fire 
to the dump. So I'm going to try to catch myself, catch my family, and like pull this room back together as much as I can while also trying to have the convenience of having my wrapping station here ready to go. So let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room, these busted up shoes. As I was sitting here watching the playback of this video, I was thinking this is such a mom thing to do, which is to make sure that everybody else is good and then kind of put yourself last and not really think about like what you need. So I'm glad that I record these videos because it gives me an opportunity to look at my life from the outside in and see little stuff like this that's problematic. So um, yeah, have you looked at your stuff lately, moms? Have you looked at your pajamas that you're wearing? Are they busted up? Do they have holes in them like my shoes? If so, guys, we deserve better, okay? We deserve to uh, take care of ourselves just like we take care of our families. So anyway, preaching to myself today, okay? Anyway, so you guys see that hopefully with all these videos, you guys could just tell that I am not naturally tidy and that is why I do this program. Um, it really helps keep things under control. You guys will see that I'm going to spend exactly 15 minutes in here and you can see the transformation that it helps create for this room. 15 minutes, although at the beginning I always complain that I don't want to do it. It's not overwhelming and to me it's totally worth the results that I get. So anyway, I don't have anything else to say. I will let you guys see what the transformation looks like after 15 minutes and uh, I'll check in with you later. do the whole PDA, don't call each other babe at work, just be professional and treat them like any other person. And then yeah, if you want to have lunch with them, that's different. But during work hours and public settings, just treat them the same to avoid awkwardness between you and other people. Everyone's just much more comfortable. Great. I'm using my little timer here. And that was exactly 15 minutes. I've been recording for 15 minutes and 10 seconds. So, um, you know, once again, we're not striving for perfection. We're striving for, is it 15 minutes better than it was 15 minutes ago? So, this is the desk that had all the coffee cups on it. Just ridiculous, I know. Like, I know that it's gonna get messy again whenever I start wrapping more stuff. But remember, the problem is that when things look chaotic and disorderly, it just invites more chaos and disorder. So the purpose of me tidying was not to make it stay that way. It's just to kind of help control some of the disorder that was there and also send a message to me and my family, like you can't just dump your stuff here, mainly to me. And then um, up there, we still have some Christmas presents that need to be wrapped. Um, I've been trying to do one to two a day. Let's see, today is the is the 13th so I have 12 days left to go I'm just trying to decide if I'm going at a good enough pace I think that I need to buy two more gifts so I think that yeah one two three four five six seven and then I have some clothes girl I will throw some clothes in a gift bag in a minute so um, I think that there's no and then plus two more nine so I don't think there's any need for me to increase the pace. So I'll just keep going at my normal pace. So 
I still have a couple more minutes till my lunch break is over. So I'm gonna go do, I got my zone cleaning done. I'm gonna go do one of my weekly home blessing tasks. And so I looked at my list today and it looks like I left off at horizontal and vertical surfaces. So I'm just gonna go get a rag. I'm gonna get some uh, window cleaner and all purpose spray. And I'm just going to go hit as many surfaces as I can for 10 minutes. And then that's that. So I'll see you guys uh, when I get back. <laughs> Did you guys see that trend on TikTok? Okay, this me. All right. Gotta have fun with this, guys. We got to try to have fun with this. Don't mind all the kids' stuff on the floor. Ideally, if you do your morning routine first, this kind of stuff wouldn't be out. But I decided to do these things first so that I wouldn't get it squeezed out of my schedule. A little tiny squeezes. Because this is weekly home blessing. I'm not about to be moving all this stuff out of the way. For weekly home blessing, no, no, no. Girl, you better, you better improvise, okay? We can move a little bit, a little bit. That's all it's getting for me, this weekly home blessing, okay? This is morning routine stuff. If you did your morning routine, you wouldn't have to worry about this kind of stuff, but you know, you're mixing it up to make sure that I have time for a little bit of dusting. All right, so I'm back. And I started getting distracted. I was talking to my husband. So I didn't get as far as what I would normally like to get. So I didn't even make it upstairs at all. So that's fine because guess what? I will be back next week to dust. So um, I will probably start upstairs and then any remaining time I have go downstairs. So that's fine. And then also just a quick tip. If you want to get through more stuff faster, don't be like me. Don't be doing horizontal and vertical at the same time. Pick one, do it, and then come back and do the other one. That is the fastest way for me and it allows me to get more area. Sorry, my lighting is doing weird stuff because it's light behind me. If you're like still new, if you a baby in the game, trust me, do one, then do the other. So I think I'm done with this vlog. I, I think, yeah, I don't wanna make these vlogs too long because then they become too difficult to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here, girl. Thanks so much for hanging with me. Um, I don't have anything else to say. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.